So I have a question. How do we show two events are mutually independent? Well, in this video, I'm going to show exactly how to do that. So let's put this into context. For example, let's say we have a couple events. Let's say we have A and B. The probability of A is 0 0.5 and the probability of B is 0 0.2. And then the probability of the intersection of these two events is 0 0.1. How do we prove a and B described above here are mutually independent. Well, they are, but how do we actually show that they are mutually independent? Well, first off, we, we have to ask, well, what's the definition of mutual independence? And that is that you multiply these two probabilities together and they should equal that. So we want to prove that. So let's do that. First off, let's write exactly what we want to show. We want to show that this equation holds true. If this equation holds true, then they are mutually independent and we will be done. So let's show that this holds true. Let's look at this left-hand side part of the equation right here. What's that equal to? Um, so I'm going to break it apart. I'm going to say, well, what's the left-hand side of the equation equal to? And then I'm going to say, well, what's the right-hand side of the equation equal to? And hopefully that'll allow us to show that this actually works. So let's do that. So let's first off consider the, the left-hand side of this equation. Let's, let's multiply these two probabilities together. Okay, let's, see, let's just see what that is. Well, the probability of A is 0 0.5 from right here, and the probability of B is 0 0.2. So we know it's equal to this. Um, what's that number? 0 0.1. We can plug that in on our calculator. So the probability of A times the probability of B is 0 0.1, okay? Let's just tag this as 1. These expressions here, let's, let's refer to this as 1. Well, we also know the probability of the, again, the right-hand side of A intersect B is 0 0.1. Well, that's nice. So let's look at, let's look back at, so let's call that expression, this equation right here, let's call it 2. So we see this, the expression here for 1 and 2, they are the same looking at the far right. Well, that's nice. So we see as 0 0.1 and 0 0.1, as these both are equal to each other, we know that the probability of A times the probability of B must equal to the probability of the intersection between them looking back at these equations. Particularly, it's a transitive property, but as far as we're concerned, we look here and we see that the probability is here. So this holds true as, these, as this side is 0.1 and that side is 0.1. So we verified that's true. Well, what did we want to show? We wanted to show that holds true. And we just showed that. This is exactly what we wanted to show. So this satisfies this means that this means that the events A and B are mutually independent. So we are done. All right.